Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to part two of my island living let's play. So I am picking this part up pretty much straight after we finished the last part. It is a brand new day and it's actually super cloudy here in Sulani, which I was not expecting. I don't know why, but I kind of went into this thinking that it was always going to be glorious sunshine, but it does make sense. It's a tropical world and there are going to be like thunderstorms and stuff like that. So Arihi is currently sat in her little corner doing some meditation. Tama is actually just here staring at the art on her wall. I did change up her room a little bit. I added in this world map. I really like the way it looks. It is actually custom content um, for all of you wondering like I don't have this in my game. It's not new with island living. I just decided that it kind of makes sense even though The Sims isn't really based on the real world. I, I assume that it's still shaped like it so you know I decided to add it in. Oh my god, it just became sunny all of a sudden. My weather said that it was going to be cloudy today, but apparently there's now sunshine. They must have known that we were flipping going to work. And Amiri is just out here. He's having a little bit of a fish. <gasps> We got a fishing update, which is super cool. Um, that did not work. Open notebook. Um... I don't know if that's a glitch due to custom content or a mod that I have, but his notebook isn't working. But we did actually get an overhaul of um, the phone, for one. The notebook used to be up here and now it's down here. And we also, you know how we got in seasons, we had an overhaul of gardening. Now we have an overhaul of fishing. So when you catch a fish, then notes get added to your notebook. And it basically tells you what bait you can use to catch a certain fish, which is really, really helpful if you are trying to catch like the whole collection. So he got a celestial grouper. It's actually a common fish. I think there were some new fish added in with Island Living as well, like into the actual collection. If you guys don't know how to get to the collections, I don't either, apparently. <laughs> you go to your inventory and then you can check household collections. So you have like your gardening, you have frogs, you have fish, all of that fun stuff. So these are the fish and then the new ones, see that one was a new one, obviously has the island living thing next to it. So there are quite a few new fish that come with island living. The swordfish being one of them, which we have hung up on our kitchen, which our wife hates because she is a child of the ocean and it's kind of really sad to see the fact that your fishy friend is hung up on your husband's wall. Whoa, oh my god, she's floating. She's so good at the, what's this skill called? Wellness. I actually want to buy her a yoga mat. I should have done that off screen, to be honest. But I'm gonna have her stop. She just wanted to do some meditation before her first day on the job. But she is actually working from home. As I said, conservationist is an active career. So you can choose to work from home or send your sim to work in like a rabbit hole. Kind of works the exact same way as the city living careers. City living, island living, there's a lot of connections I'm seeing between the two, you know? She had a city living career before getting into the island living one, which totally makes perfect sense. I love how he's just chilling out here on his fishing boat. He seems so happy. Oh my god. I want to get a little screenshot of him because he just seems at peace. I know a couple of you guys were like, hmm, doesn't fishing kind of take away from like helping the ecosystem and like protecting the environment, which I do agree with, you know, fishing is pretty bad for the environment. We all know the effects that overfishing has and also all the pollution that comes from fishing. But 
I do like to think that Amiri, he respects the island so much. Remember, he is a child of the island, so he really does have a lot of respect for the islands and the ocean as well. So I would like to think that he is knowledgeable. And I think in small communities like this, they understand their ecosystems so much better than like fishermen who just catch fish for profit and also like for mass production so i feel as if he would fully take care of the environment whilst fishing so i get the concerns that you guys were bringing up in the first part but also like that's kind of the story that i was going with like he has a mutual respect for both the earth and the ocean so just to put that out there, even though he clearly doesn't have respect for his wife because she totally doesn't agree with it. But enough about that. We are gonna get her into her career. So I have had her work from home. So she needs to go and explore the cave at Mua Pelham. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Mua Pelham? Who knows? And research conservation. I'm probably just gonna call this Mua or Mua. I don't know. Please, someone tell me how to actually pronounce this. That would be great. And she also needs the research conservation. Obviously, we don't have a computer on our lot. So I am gonna take her back over to the learning center. I'm gonna have a quickly research conservation because we've seen this, you know, she just sits at the computer and browses it. So there's nothing too crazy here. So I'm gonna have her do that. And then we will head on over to the natural island with Arihi and get this job on the road and then I also have some special plans for her this evening as well which I'm super excited about <gasps> is this the really cute sim from the trailer oh my god it is Nalani <gasps> she is so cute I kind of want to become her best friend let's go give her a cheerful introduction honestly when I saw her in the trailer I was like I can't tell if I want to marry her or be her best friend, but we're gonna go give her a friendly introduction because I reckon these two could be real good friends. I actually hadn't seen the sliding doors work until that moment. That's pretty cool how these things work. So there we go. We gave her a friendly introduction um, and then I'm gonna have her research conservation and I'll be back with you guys once we are actually at the natural island. Ooh, would you look at who just walked in? Oliana is here. So if you guys remember, these two used to be like thick as thieves when they were kids and obviously we kind of lost contact with her they like text every so often and kind of kept up with each other but they haven't seen each other in years so i'm actually gonna go up to her can we hug her because i want to be like oh my god it's so good to see you um hug oh my goodness we can okay so after she's finished doing this she's gonna go hug oliana i'm gonna have them chat a little bit oh my god i thought something was on fire but it was just the tiki torch thank goodness i thought the community center was on fire can we not play with my heart like that please all right so she finished up researching so this is the island that she needs to head to this is the island where most of the conservation career takes place i have seen a couple of people say that like trash has stopped appearing like after they've cleaned it up and stuff so i don't know if this is a little bit buggy or if that was actually intentional I actually haven't played a lot of the conservation career which is what I wanted to do because I wanted to explore it with you guys in this let's play so we're just gonna travel here together this actually isn't there's no one living on it right now I do want to create a family that is gonna live in the shipwreck so someone will be moving into here but right now there's nobody living here and uh that's just because i haven't had time to create the family that i wanted to but don't worry i will have some sims living in admiral's wreckage after i get around to creating them so we're gonna travel to this lot we're gonna travel by ourselves you know this is a work day and like i said arihi is really trying to take some time out for herself however she is definitely gonna meet up with her friends i'm gonna have her change her outfit it's actually pretty chilly today but i'm not gonna have her wear like her cold weather outfit because 
that consists of a few layers. I think I'm gonna have her change into this outfit, which I honestly love. This is a custom content shirt. I was very disappointed at the lack of tropical shirts for ladies in this expansion, so I had to at least give her one tropical shirt. And she needs to explore the cave, which is this thing over here. So you can either click on this, like, mural that we have over here. It looks like it used to be like a map of Sulani or something like that. I have no idea what it is meant to be, but this is the cave. So if you guys are wondering where this cave is, it's right next to the ship rock wreck lot. Um, this unfortunately doesn't lead you to anywhere but she just needs to explore it. As you can see with her career she can also take photos and she can also survey. Survey, I'm gonna say both versions of that word so if it annoys you I apologize but I can never like tell the way that I should pronounce it like if it's a verb or if it's a noun so I'm gonna be using both and I apologize I know I probably shouldn't as an English English I can't even say the word as an English language graduate but I'm about to oh this war is so dirty it legit matches this dude's hair. I reckon it was him. It was definitely you. Like, this matches your hair colour. You grotty, grotty boy. I really need to take these custom content boots out. Everyone's wearing them with the swimwear. Ooh, I will take that out before the next part, I assure you guys. Um, all right, are you done? <gasps> Is this Makoa? Oh my goodness, is this Makoa? Uh, it is! It's Makoa Kialoa. Oh my goodness. This is like a bay. He was our dude when we were growing up. Light in the dark. Near the end of Arihi's exploration, she spotted light radiating from a passage ahead. Distracted and not looking where she was stepping, Arihi cartwheeled into an underground river. Drenched and forgetting about the light, Arihi decided to cut her adventures short rather than press on with soaked clothing. So I'm fairly sure I'm 100% I probably would have seen this if this cave actually led to anything. People were saying I would have loved if this was a mermaid grotto or it was a little bit more interactable. It seems like it was meant to be. I don't know if that was like intentional or not but it seems like this cave was meant to be something and it's kind of just a rabbit hole at the end of the day but she's done everything that she needed to do. I unfortunately didn't get her to talk to Oliana because o Oliana like left, but we're instead gonna go talk to him. We can spread conservation awareness. That's so cute. She's such a little angel. Her name actually means caring and noble, which I chose it because of the meaning behind it, like because she cares for the environment so much. Like her parents, they just knew when she grew up she was gonna be so compassionate and so kind and so caring and she just fully lives up to her name. So that's actually why I chose the name Arihi. Um, but let's go up to him. We're gonna go and get to know him a bit because it's been a few years. Makoa, please don't walk away from me. Come on, Arihi, get your butt over here. Your best friend, your best childhood friend is over here. We're gonna tell him an inside joke. You know what? That's what it's like with these three. They can truly just like slip back into how they have always been. We're gonna brighten his day because it is a little bit shady outside. It's got a little bit cloudy again. <laughs> This is so cute. We can ask him if he's a mermaid. Oh, he is embarrassed because he's got a breakout. Oh, little baby. Can I ask him about his kids? Apparently not. I can ask about siblings. Can I ask about children? There we go. I want to... Oh, wait. That's a flirty one? No! That comes from the Slice of Life mod. Um, I didn't think that was going to be flirty. I kind of don't want her to be flirty with him. Everyone thought that these two were like gonna grow up. I am a parent. <laughs> well, we knew that much, Makoa. <laughs> oh my God. 
so specific. He is the parent, though, but she's like, yeah, go you. But yeah, everyone thought that these two were going to grow up to, like, fall in love with each other. You know, like, when you have a guy friend sometimes and everyone's like, oh, my God, like, you two are going to get married. You're so perfect for one another. She never, ever felt that way about Makoa. Like, yes, he's cute. She can clearly see that he is very, very cute, but she never had that, like, attraction to him. So things got a little bit awkward before she moved away, but I'm glad that he's like moved on and like has his own family. Unexpected trip. The fascinating wonders around Arihi distracted her from the path she was walking, resulting a quick trip through an underground river. Right, we are gonna go back home because I do actually want to go to either Oliana's house or Makoa's house. And because the welcome wagon apparently didn't want to appear in my game, someone did say, thank you guys so much for all the helpful comments in the first part, by the way. It's like super helpful that you guys let me know like what I'm doing wrong. Someone pointed out that I had concrete under my house, so I have changed it all to stilts. So we have a full stilted foundation. So big thank you for pointing that out and also telling me how to fix it. And then someone also said that maybe the peace and quiet trait was affecting the fact that nobody um, was actually coming to um, our welcome wagon. So I got rid of that trait just in case. I think it is just glitch though. Some people have said that it's taken like that island living one to like up to a week to appear. So I think it is just glitched out, but I'm gonna have him come down here. He's gonna grab a serving of vegetable dumplings because he's pretty hungry. She's just hopping in the shower, you know, she took a dip in a river, so she's feeling kind of gross at the moment. She also needs to get her fun up a little bit, but what I wanted to do was have Tama actually, I'm gonna have to get rid of this swordfish. She just keeps getting so sad every time she sees it. I can't have a sad mermaid. Like maybe um. this is really gonna drive a wedge between her and Mary. <laughs> I really don't want that. Like, the fact that he's chosen to be a fisherman is upsetting for her enough already. So I don't want to, like, twist the knife any more than I have to. Uh, so I might get rid of the the swordfish because it's really just a... Uh, it's just really having an effect on her. So, dude, I'm gonna take this off the wall because it's making me sad. I'm gonna place it in our inventory. Now I feel like our kitchen is so empty though. I'll find something to like take its place, but <laughs> I'm not causing any more issues in this flippin' marriage. I cannot be dealing with that. Arihi actually doesn't really know how to cook. Obviously she lived in San Mai Shuno and there's like always food stalls around. She's really terrible at cooking. She actually doesn't even have the skill. Don't ask me how she's become a young adult without having the cooking skill. But Tama is actually gonna, I think over here on these shelves, we have a carver bowl, so she is gonna prepare a carver and we're gonna have Arihi come over here and watch her mum and see how she makes this carver and then we are gonna attempt to make our own. So we're gonna enthuse about her interests because Tama actually really likes cooking um, and obviously like we do want to stay on our mum's good side. We'll be like, you know, I know a little bit about herbalism, like as I was traveling I picked up a little bit on herbalism but I don't know how to cook to save my life. <laughs> <laughs> she's so cute. I like the fact that she's not embarrassed by it though. She's like, you know what? My mom is a great cook. I'm just gonna let her teach me how to do it. And then I'm gonna attempt to make my own. And then like I said, she's gonna go around to either one of their houses and take the cover with her. Not this one. We're just gonna keep this at our house. Cava, Carver. I think it's pronounced Carver, but I'm Northern, so I say Cava. I will try and say Carver for you guys because I feel like you're gonna get annoyed by 
but every pronunciation. I just should just stop bringing it up. You guys yeah. probably wouldn't yeah, notice how I pronounce things well, if I didn't bring them up. So I need to get out of my head and I need to stop doubting myself and just pronounce things the way I pronounce things. <laughs> right, come on, get this made. Like, stop talking to everyone. I know I said I wanted you guys to talk, but like, I would prefer you to focus on making this so that Arihi can actually make her own. I guess we are gonna have to buy a second bowl, which is fine. We can buy that in Debug, I think, or even just in the, um, so there we go. That is normal quality. I'm gonna stick that one in the fridge. This is like, oh, can we not put it in the fridge? Ooh, okay, well, looks like her parents are getting drunk tonight. It actually doesn't make you drunk. It makes you dazed because you get super relaxed from this drink. Um, but let's go in and see if we can get ourselves our very own carver bowl. Ooh, we can get an illuminated carver bowl. Where was that? I want to see what the illuminate illuminated carver bowl. <gasps> Traditional used for drinking carver. This koa wood bowl now holds a candle. Oh my god. Oh, so you can't actually drink from it. Okay, maybe I should put this on our shelf instead. Whoops, didn't mean to do that um oh, i can't place it down okay well i'll get rid of it for the time being and then let's get the actual usable one that is just a table lamp apparently so here you go arihi you got your very own carver bowl passed down through the family let's test her skills and see if she can actually make it her dad's giving her like a little bit of uh enthusiasm he's like don't worry you can do this i meant encouragement not enthusiasm but he's like, go Arihi, I believe in you. All right, let's see how she does. It looks rank, I'm not gonna lie. Like when they're making it, it kind of looks like frog spawn. Like I've never drank this in my life. So I don't wanna like be offensive and say that it looks like it would taste disgusting because it would probably taste quite nice. But when they're making it like this, I would happily drink. This looks like, warm and smooth and creamy i should have realized like what carver was i should have uh maybe looked into it a little bit more but there we go she has the normal quality it's not poor at least <laughs> at least we aren't gonna show up to our best friend's house with a poor quality tasting carver so they won't be like oh oh my god why did you come back with this that's absolutely disgusting like did you really think i was gonna drink this <laughs> hopefully we will impress them what a great feeling to participate and feel like part of the community oh what do we do what do we participate in apparently there's um a different festival every day there's like a fish festival going on right now oh my god look people are having a cookout oh now i want to go to the fish festival oliana is actually here um, but I also kind of want to go around to Makoa's house because we did meet up with him. <gasps> hey, hey! Oh my god, those chickens! If a farming pack is not coming... Look, we have chickens. Look, they actually look pretty good. Sometimes these kind of details look terrible. The chickens actually look kind of alright. If we aren't getting a farming pack, I'm about to scream. We already have chickens. Come on, Sims team, pull through. But let's head over to Makoa's house. I promise we will take part in like the festivals. We'll probably do that in the next episode. The they live over here, so Kialoa. He's actually not in at the moment. He's Oh, he's actually in our neighborhood. Can we travel with him? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna travel with Makoa back to his house. We're gonna introduce ourselves to his fam. I don't think his wife is in, but his two boys. I think he has two boys. I'm not completely sure. I know he has a teenager. Um, he actually has a different surname, so I don't know if he was maybe his wife's biological son and like he's his stepdad i don't really know but this is their house and then he also has a toddler called nanny i think 
he's a boy as well i'm not too sure might be a little girl i apologize um but this is the house this is really really sweet very very cute house so this is obviously the teen room then we got the toddler room then we got the uh their room this is actually really nice i have been slightly disappointed with the ea lots recently but this is gorgeous like i can't complain at this like this house is so nice maybe i should add this to my um house instead of having sliding doors all the way across the back i think i kind of want it a little bit more open so i might change that this house is freaking gorgeous but we have traveled with him um i guess we'll put the oh they have their own carver bowl but i'm gonna put this one here and can we go grab a drink together that would be great oh they like enter the sea oh they get up to their house through the sea that is too cute his little toddlers just like roaming around they're adorable i think it might be a girl i i really don't know i can't tell uh but let's call to grab a drink hopefully he's gonna join us oh the teen's on the sailboat he's a lifeguard look he's got a little lifeguard outfit on he's off to go save people in his little red sailboat uh excuse me i made you a drink don't eat the yogurt um, I love how he's just walking around in a snorkel and flip-flops. You absolute good. What are you doing? You absolute nutter. Um, we're going to brighten his day again. We're also going to give him a heartfelt compliment, gossip about the neighbors, really just catch up with Makoa and discuss his interests. You know, we've got to, we've really got to get to know him as an adult because like the last time we hung out with him was just before we moved away. And she was a young adult still, but it's been a couple of years now. Um, we're going to compliment his house. This is gorgeous. I feel like this is probably a family home like i feel like this is probably the home that he's always lived in and like grew up in um but obviously things have changed as he's got kids and stuff and like moved more into the modern world oh they just became good friends little cuties i actually kind of want to go snorkeling with him like i feel like we haven't snorkeled yet we haven't like done any diving yet like we haven't been in the sea i am so solely focused on like community and stuff that we haven't even been to like a beach or anything like that which is crazy i don't know how she just identified a fish because she's currently not fishing oh she's just trying to win him over with her singing voice dude why are you trying to show off like what the hell is going on he's not even here i mean everything is open so he can still probably hear her singing i don't know why she's singing oh my god Oh my god a little bit pitchy there whoa why is he wearing a snorkel seriously he is such a dingbat it is so dark outside that is one thing about sulani when it's cloudy it gets real real dark obviously there's not like a lot of artificial lighting and stuff so it completely makes sense but it's not great for let's plays like the sims 4 is kind of a dark game anyway so like when there's no lighting around and you really have to be around some one's house to even get lighting for let's plays it's gonna be difficult which is also kind of why i didn't choose off the grid because i didn't want the whole let's play to be super super dark for you guys we're gonna express our admiration we're also gonna go and give a cheerful introduction to his son i don't know where the toddler went oh they're just out here building sand castles okay we'll go say hi to the team and then i think we'll go and give a funny introduction to his toddler more hey hey's i'm gonna refer to every chicken as hey hey i hope you guys know this moana is like one of my favorite disney films i absolutely adore it okay i think she's a little girl like i don't think the sims team we do have a trans character in 
island living which i think is incredible and she is gorgeous but i don't think the sims team would have dressed a baby boy toddler in a bikini so i'm assuming nanny is a little girl nanny i think that's the name of lilo's sister is it not in lilo and stitch wasn't she called nanny or nanny i would say nanny see i'm doing it again i'm talking about my dang pronunciation gosh darn it right come over here because i want to go talk to the toddler there we go finally i want to build a sand sculpture with her uh, more choices actions add to group can we build a sandcastle with her friendly calm down i don't want to tell her to calm down who am i she doesn't even know me we could be like auntie arihi oh my god is that not the cutest thing toddler care no she's very angry i think she's tired yeah she wants her bed she's like look i don't know who you are i know you're a friend of my dad's but like invite to build some sculpture there we go okay we're figuring these things out together i love this oh she's come to join us yes my little babies this is so cute oh my word yes she's not really helping she's just kind of throwing sand in my eyes love that for me honestly there was nothing more that i wanted than sand in my eyeballs it's like super super helpful when you're trying to build a sand castle is that it what the frick is that okay this is not the finished product this looks like a ditto right now like all the egg pokemon it looks like oh it's a turtle oh my god that is the best sand sculpture i have ever seen it looks like an old man does that not look like our dad like for realsies <laughs> look at this kid look at the sass on her face she's like um who are you you are my mummy <laughs> uh-oh i hope she doesn't think we're like trying to like get with her dad a toddler would not think that what am i on about but she's like looking so s sassy at us we're gonna get to know her a little bit oh it got sunny again what is going on with this weather man she's a charmer she gets it from her daddy and we're gonna play with her a little bit so guys i think i am gonna finish this part up here thank you all so so much for tuning in i know we haven't got into like the nitty gritty of island life yet like i haven't even been swimming in the ocean like what the heck i thought that was gonna be like the first thing that i would do but we kind of been focusing on arihi and kind of like getting her to um to get back into the island and trying to know her friends i think on friday evening we'll actually throw a carver party um as like a welcome home kind of present for her what the hell is wrong with her ankle girl you just broke your ankle oh my god are you okay Jeez, louise but yeah on friday we will be hosting a carver party i think in the next part we're gonna focus on the elders a little bit more i kind of want to focus on them and give you guys a little bit of history to them and their relationships with like other islanders and stuff so definitely tune in for the next part i hope you guys are all enjoying this i know that so many of you have said that you're loving these sims as much as i am which i really really appreciate because i just love them to death i love their backstories i love the depth to them and i'm super excited to where this let's play is gonna take them i already have a fair few ideas hanging around in this little head of mine and thank you once again for all of your hints and tips on the last part if you guys have any other like helpful information then feel free to leave it in the comments down below give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and remember to hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell if you are enjoying Enjoying my island living let's play to be notified every single time i upload a brand new part thank you all so much for tuning in and i will speak to you all in the next part bye guys mm -hmm.